Une montgolfière, une montgolfière is an air balloon, you know, the one that flies in the sky. Une poubelle, une poubelle is a bin. You might already know these two nouns, une montgolfière and une poubelle, but do you know what common point they have? They're originally from people's names. Yes, they come from real people. Today we're going to learn vocabulary that is fun, that comes from French people's names. What's the point of learning this kind of vocabulary? First, it's about building your general knowledge. It helps you speak better French as well. In French, we call these nouns coming from names of people une antonomase. Une antonomase. You absolutely do not have to remember that. But it's all about learning things to become more clever in a way. And in French, we call this se coucher moins bête. Se coucher moins bête, well, se coucher moins bête qu'on sait lever. That's the full expression. Se coucher moins bête qu'on sait lever. To go to bed less stupid than when we woke up. Yes, it's a fun expression in French. And comme in française, it's all about this fun knowledge of French. Today, you will learn five new French words and who they come from. As usual, this video lesson comes with bonuses. First, you have access to a free written lesson about this in PDF that you can get on comeunfrancaise.com. There you have all the vocabulary that we mentioned here, the links that are mentioned as well, extra resources very often to more elements, videos or texts of songs about what we're talking about. You can print it Take notes on it and keep it with you. It's completely free and you will get it on Commune Française. If you are watching this on YouTube, click on the link below and you will have access to it. And also this lesson comes with a free email in French that I send to my community every Tuesday. And this allows you to practice your reading skills. So join on Commune Française and you will have access to this for free. If you're watching this on Commune Française, if you're on YouTube, Go to the link below the video and you will go to Come in Française. Both are completely free. Let's start the lesson. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Come in Française. C'est parti. Let's learn some French today. The first word for today is une montgolfière. Une montgolfière. As you can notice, I don't say the T. I don't say une montgolfière. I say une montgolfière. This is an air balloon in French. Une montgolfière. And this word comes from les frères montgolfiers. Les frères montgolfiers. There were two brothers, les frères montgolfiers. You had Joseph Michel, yes, and Jacques Etienne. Joseph Michel and Jacques Étienne Montgolfier, who invented it in 1782. Les frères Montgolfier created une montgolfière. As you might know in French, but if not, you learn it. We never put an S in French as a plural of noun. So we say les Montgolfiers, if you want to talk about them. Les Montgolfiers never, ever, ever change a noun a proper noun of someone in French, les montgolfiers. So remember, montgolfier made la montgolfière. We put this in the feminine uh, gender, la montgolfière. The second noun for today is une poubelle, une poubelle, une poubelle. As you might know, it's a bin in French, une poubelle. And this name comes from Eugène René Poubelle. Eugène René Poubelle. Yes, it seems that all men at this time had two names. Eugène René Poubelle. He was le préfet de la Seine in 1883. 1883, we can say both. 1883 or 1883, he was the boss of La Seine, the department La Seine. Okay, it's an old one, it doesn't exist anymore, and it was all about Paris. Le préfet de La Seine in 1883. Okay, so what did he do? He did not invent the bin, because it doesn't make any sense to invent the bin. No, he made a law 
that made it mandatory for people to use these bins. Okay? So for the owners of the buildings to put a bin outside and people could use it, uh, people living in the building could use it, it would have to have a lid and it would have to be big enough to contain all the trash from the building. Household waste in English. Okay? We call that les déchets ménagers in French. Les déchets ménagers. So it's everything you throw on a daily basis. Okay? So he put the law in place and this is where it comes from. He did not invent the bin, he made it mandatory. And this is where the name comes from. Eugène René Poubelle gave his name to la poubelle in French, la poubelle de bin. If you like this kind of uh, French knowledge, you will really like exercise your French into one of my bigger programs. And you have lectures on French culture and tests, so you can learn things and remember them very effectively. It's all about the general knowledge that every French person knows that you were not taught about. So it gives you this boost in general French knowledge that you really need in order to have proper conversations in French. So it's exercise your French and you will find the link on Commune Française. The third word for today is une praline, which is something I love. Une praline. Une praline is a kind of sweet. It's an almond or a peanut that is um, coated in sugar that is very often tainted in pink. Okay, it's uh, cooked sugar. So that's an almond or a peanut that is uh, surrounded by cooked sugar. It's so, so good and it's usually pink. Une praline. Une praline. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from someone because this is the goal of today's lesson. La praline was created during the 17th century by Clément Jalusot. Clément Jalusot, le chef cuisinier. Clément Jalusot, who was a cook. Clément Jalusot. Well, what's the link between Clément Jalusot and the name La Praline? Well, Clément Jalusot was the chef of someone more famous who was le maréchal de Plessis-Pralin. Le maréchal de Plessis-Pralin. So this famous guy gave the name to La Praline. Le maréchal de Plessis-Pralin, who was the boss of the cook who actually created it. It seems to have been during a party that someone said it was his name that gave the name to La Praline. So it's a legend, but still it works. Le maréchal de Plessis-Pralin and the cook Clément Jalusot, who gave uh, their name to La Praline. Une Praline in French, a delicious sweet. Une Praline. The fourth word for today is un kir. Un kir. Do you know what un kir is? It's a drink. It's a drink, kind of a cocktail where you put different things together. You put la crème de cassis, la crème de cassis, which is la liqueur de cassis. Actually, it's the same, same thing, but we give it a more beautiful name. La crème de cassis, which is la liqueur de cassis. So lots of alcohol in there. And le vin blanc, le vin blanc Bourgogne aligoté. It's a kind of uh, white wine. Le vin blanc Bourgogne aligoté. You put these two together and it makes un kir. Un kir. So la crème de cassis and le vin blanc Bourgogne aligoté. Where does the name come from? It comes from le maire de Dijon. Le maire de Dijon in uh, 1951, who was called Félix Kir. Félix Kir in 1951, who was le maire de Dijon, gave his name to le Kir. It's a bit of a tricky story because it was for um, advertisement purposes that he gave his name in a way to make it more famous. So he did not invent it, but he gave his name on purpose to this uh, um, cocktail. So le Kir, un Kir, so it's a very famous drink and you have other options for it that I'm not going to detail here, but if you go to France, you can ask for different ones. Le Kir. The fifth name for today is un godillo. Un godillo. Un godillo. I don't say the T at the end, okay? It is not a noun you will use a lot because it, it's, it's not the name we use anymore for 
proper shoes. So un gros dio is une grosse chaussure, une grosse chaussure, like a walking boot. And un godillo is a nickname for it now. It's not the proper name of any shoe anymore. So it's the name we were going to use for big shoes. Okay, it's kind of a nickname. It's a bit of slang, but it's absolutely not vulgar at all. It's just familiar French. Un godillo, we don't say the T at the end. Un godillo. And where does it come from? It comes from Alexis Godillo. Alexis Godillo, who during the 19th century was actually making those boots for the army of Napoleon III. Okay, so these are army boots, so you can imagine in the 19th century that they were big, very solid boots. So there, there is where the name and the nickname comes from, these kind of big things, usually walking boots. Un godillo, and obviously des godillo, if you're talking about more than one, which is usually the case. Now that we learned so much, let's test yourself. How do you call a cocktail with crème de cassis? How do you call a cocktail with crème de cassis? How do you call a cocktail with crème de cassis? How do you call a bin in French? How do you call a bin in French? And how do you call an air balloon? in French. Well, a cocktail with crème de cassis is un kir. We saw this in the lesson. Un kir. A bin is une poubelle. Une poubelle. And at last, an air balloon is une montgolfière. Une montgolfière. Une montgolfière. So what did you learn today? Let's recap. Une montgolfière is an air balloon. You don't say the T. Une montgolfière. Une poubelle is a bin. Une poubelle. Une praline is a sweet. Une praline. Un kir. I can't do that. Un kir is a cocktail with crème de cassis and vin blanc. Un kir. And at last, un godillo. Un godillo, we don't say the T at the end, is a big shoe, like a walking boot. But it's a nickname for it. Un godillo. Et toi, comment retiens-tu le vocabulaire de la leçon Comment retiens-tu le vocabulaire de la leçon How do you remember the vocabulary of a French lesson and this one for today Tell me, I want to hear about what you do to remember it so I can do it better and help you. And you will have other people's advice as well. And this is so good in the community to exchange good practices together. For example, you could print the PDF and read it later. J'imprime le PDF de la leçon et je le relis dans le métro. J'imprime le PDF de la leçon et je le relis dans le métro. Tell me in the comment area, please. That would be wonderful to hear from you in French if you dare. If you have a question about the lesson, you can also share it in the comment area on comminfrances.com. If you want more French than just these tiny lessons, join on Coming Francaise to get my free 10-day everyday French crash course. It is a free email course that lasts 10 days. Easy. How do you get it? You go to Coming Francaise and you leave your first name and email and you will get the lesson one immediately. It lasts 10 days. It's by email and you can unsubscribe anytime if it's not for you. Join us. It's very fun. If you like this lesson and learned something today, please help me spread the word about Coming Francaise. How to do that? Share this lesson with a francophile friend. You can do it in any way you like. You can do it by email or WhatsApp. You can text your best friend or even better, tell your French class about this lesson if you're taking a French class. Other students would love to learn this vocabulary today. Merci for taking the time to watch the Common Process French lessons. I highly appreciate it. More and more people watch the lesson and learn French with Common Français. I hope to see you next Tuesday. À la semaine prochaine, à mardi prochain. I wish you une bonne journée, une bonne soirée, or maybe une bonne nuit if you're going to bed. Allez, salut, à mardi prochain.